tabletop RPGs and rule books can seem big and intimidating, but on Too Long Didn't Play, we break down the seemingly complex content of tabletop RPGs in about five minutes, so you can decide if you want to check a system out in more detail. They parked further out and rode the shuttle bus in the last few miles. The press of bodies and aromas preparing them for a day filled with the smells of frying oil, farm animals, hot plastic, and cold lemonade. As they stepped off the bus and made their way to the turnstiles, they seemed like mostly normal fairgoers. A mall cop turned homeschool parent with his service poodle Cujo and son Jimmy. The twins, Paula and Polly, joined at the hip, but completely different and emotionally divided. Then the last shuffling character, who smelled like a sock filled with Limburger cheese, clutching tightly at a bag next to their chest. At this moment, you don't know that the mall cop is on administrative leave. The twins are fighting for dominance and fame. Or that the slinking figure is the legendary cheese golem here to wreak havoc on his ancient nemesis. You just know it's the Minnesota State Fair and that today is the day they crown the Butter Princess. Butter Princess is centered around the Minnesota State Fair and the very real Butter Princess competition that's held there where sculptors craft 90 pound visages of local women in butter. Character creation for Butter Princess is as smooth as a block of grade A salted. You choose an occupation like a food blogger, battle of the band's underdog, homeschool parent, or a besotted soothsayer, which will give you three skills. And then you select a background like second place baking competitor, penniless grifter, guilt bedevered evangelist or like bright did in our actual play with brian sago you might even become one of the escaped dairy golems and that'll give you one more skill next you'll pick a drive and feats of hubris that will move your character closer and closer to your ruin and we'll come back to that in just one second now you may want to steal the butter princess you may want to try to earn your place on the dairy board of the midwest you may want to destroy the statue or send the sculpture on a roller coaster ride you have something that drives you that makes you need or want to get close to the Butter Princess, to nab, destroy, protect, or transform it for your own ends. Your feats of hubris, which you can take one to three of when you start, increase your starting ruin points, but also gives you abilities that help you pursue that drive. It might be a giant foam finger that lets you point and redirect attention, a gullet that lets you eat inhuman amounts, the ability to food fight with lethal implication, or a farmer's almanac that lets you bend the weather to your will. Each of these push your starting ruin up by one, and ruin is best thought of as the hold or the corruption that the fair has on you or is creating in you. Everyone starts with one ruin, and for every feat of hubris you take, you raise it by another one. So you'll start off with between one and four ruin. When you hit five ruin, you're in danger. When you hit six ruin, you're consumed by the fair. And this could mean death, or it could mean wandering the fairgrounds for eternity, employment at a booth, or worse. But here's the thing. It's going to happen. It's going to hit six because Butter Princess is based on Trophy Dark. So you play to lose. Over the course of five scenes or rings, each filled with its own moments, terrors, and tasty temptations, your characters will become more and more desperate in their plans to reach their drive and pursue their goal, the Butter Princess. To do this, you'll use your player smarts along with your character's skills and feats. When you need to make a risk roll in Butter Princess, you'll build a dice pool of light and dark D6 dice. You get one dice if you have a skill that applies, another one if you take a devil's bargain that will happen and the GM will offer based on input from the table, and a dark dice if you're risking body or mind or you're using a feat of hubris. Then you roll the dice and look at your highest score. On a one to three, three, you fail and things get worse. On a four to five, you succeed with a complication. And on a six, you succeed. But that's not quite all that happens. If your highest dice is a light dice, you're golden, you're set. But if it's a dark dice, you add one to your ruin scare and the fair takes hold. Don't like what you rolled? Roll again. And again. 
and again 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 if you want adding a new dark dice every time don't worry if your ruin reaches five you can always turn against the rest of the party and try subtly sabotaging them to reduce it back down i am a huge trophy fan and butter princess is an amazingly compact and creative way to dive deep into the rich and creamy blend of story game techniques and osr vibes the creator brian has written a gut bustingly rich version of the game with an amazing pamphlet style format that feels like you picked it up in the lobby of a minnesota chain hotel where you're looking for the great things to do nearby so my friends if you're looking to hit the fairway and test your your TTRPG tactics, or sample the fare of fabulous fried foods. If you want to plot and stalk your way to a princess made of pure dairy, if you secretly seek to sabotage your friends and steal first prize in the pie eating contest, then it sounds like you, my friend, need to check out Butter Princess. Thanks for watching. I'm Tony Vicenda, Chief Alchemist over at Plus One EXP, where we multi-class in tabletop game design, beard and skincare alchemy, and the Bardic College of Content Creation. If you have thoughts about Butter Princess or want to let us know about your favorite butter-themed RPG, drop a note down in the comments below or let us know at Plus One EXP on any social media platform. And remember, if you're looking to beat a local carnival game or find out about the latest and greatest indie RPGs, tap that bell and we'll let you know when the fairgrounds are open. Here at Plus One EXP, we want to create professional quality content for designers of all sizes. If you want to help us create content for small or even first time game designers, consider supporting our team over on Kofi. I'm going to eat the stick of butter, uh, or at least bite a stick of butter with my sunglasses on. Should I, should I unwrap it? How does one eat a stick of butter? Do you do it like a candy bar? Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's, it's butter. That's a lot. It's a lot. It's good.